It's Connecticut Day at the Big E, which is traditionally one of the busiest days of the fair. Yeah, with thousands of people traveling north comes, of course, more traffic. Western Mass News reporter mm. Caroline Powers, she's back now live near the South End Bridge with a look at how things are moving at this hour. Hey, Caroline. Hi, Beth and Chris. We still have a little bit of a backup along the South End Bridge here as people go through the rotary in Agawam down Route 5 towards West Springfield. But people from Connecticut I spoke with earlier today at the Big E said they had no problem getting here today. And part of that is thanks to King Ward Bus Service and their shuttle to the fairgrounds. We did drive and there was no traffic at all and I did expect a lot of traffic and we just flew right up 91. Thousands of people from the Nutmeg State made their way to the Bay State Wednesday to celebrate Connecticut Day at the Big E. Because it's Connecticut Day and we're hoping to see the governor and I enjoy the marching bands and all the food and the baked potatoes and I could go on and on. Kathy Reedy tells Western Mass News they decided to drive. If traffic looked bad, they had a plan B. I love the train and I was thinking about stopping in Hartford and taking the train the rest of the way and that was an option that I didn't have to use and I know about the Enfield Mall. So there's a lot of ways to access the fare if you don't want to drive in and pay for the parking. A big help to keeping traffic backups down is the King Ward shuttle service. The business has nine buses running with stops at MGM, Holyoke Community College, the Enfield Mall, and at hotels along Route 5. This year was the first time they extended their Enfield Mall shuttle to also run on Connecticut Day, and they're expecting... Big numbers. <laughs> so far, so good. I, I just did an update from our, our person down there selling the tickets, and the buses are almost full, and we've done, I think, two or three runs. King Ward says since Friday, they shuttled more than 2,500 people over to the Big E from MGM. With the construction that's going on in Agawam, um, we've worked really well with the city of uh, West Springfield. We've got a separate access road. We have our own private gate. It's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Um, and it's been working out fantastic. So we've been able to bypass a lot of the traffic. Um, we're getting from MGM over to the Big E in 15 minutes. Now, the shuttle service with King Ward from MGM Springfield is free. If you're looking to travel from the Enfield Mall up to West Springfield, that's $20 for round-trip transportation, and that also includes your ticket into the fair. But if you already bought a ticket to the Big E, the cost of the transportation on the shuttle service is $5. Live in Agawam, I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.